Hello and welcome. I'm Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me for another card making tutorial. Today I have a handmade card and a matching gift pack to share with you. I'm creating from Sweet Storybook Stamp Set. I'll be using the stamps but not the dies. First I'm going to stamp the images onto a pre-cut piece of thick Whisper White cardstock. I have stamped one of the mouse images on a post-it note and cut it away so that I can feature an image that is on the same piece but it's masked. So this is a very simple way for me to form a mask and I'll explain that a little bit more in detail as we go. The mask is on a post-it note so I want to stamp first the image that I want to appear in the front and not behind any of the other objects. This is really easy to do when using the Stamparatus. It's also great that I can double stamp an image if I didn't get a good stamped image the first time. So once I have my little mice all stamped up, then I'm going to use the mask over the left-sided mouse so that I can stamp something that will appear to be in the background. That's the purpose of a mask. If I were to stamp the mushroom over the mouse, then it would be two images that were double exposed over each other. But by using this little piece of paper to cover up the image of the mouse, then when I stamp the mushroom, the mushroom will appear to be behind the mouse. So it's a very simple, basic concept, yet it has endless possibilities. Now that I have my images stamped on this circle, I'm going to do the second layer of stamping on the mice. This won't apply to every stamp that there is in your collection. However, this particular stamp set is a two-step stamp. <clears throat> Excuse me. As I add this, I'm lining it up so that I can use it with my Stamparatus and I could never get it this accurate with my own eyes on a clear block. That would never happen. However, using the Stamparatus is perfect. So as I have layered up both of those mice and got them stamped, I'm doing the second step for the mushroom. I want to keep the color scheme neutral. And there's a new addition to the Neutrals collection from Stampin' Up! called Mary Merlot. It's a really nice, pretty red color. So, But I want there to be not a high concentration of color. I want it to have, I want it to carry color, but I don't want it to be like soaking through to the back of the paper, if that makes any sense. So I'm using a second generation two times. That means I'm stamping off once and then adding it to the paper. And then I did that again, just to make sure that it was a good solid stamped image. And my sentiment is from the same set as well. I'm going to feature this circle on a piece of embossed Whisper White cardstock from this beautiful floral embossing folder. I'm using crumb cake as the card base and I have another strip of it here so that I can feature this to be like break up in the design. If I were to place the white circle on a white panel, it would be just too much. There wouldn't be enough, there would be nothing telling my brain that I need to move my eyes somewhere else. <laughs> I hope that makes any sense. Um, I'm also going to use this beautiful polka dotted tool ribbon that Stampin' Up! has just released and I have to tell you this ribbon is truly amazing. It's made from tool and so it's very thin and pliable but it's, polka dots are absolutely on trend right now and this is a very versatile ribbon. 
So I've added with some mini Stampin' Dimensionals the circle and I'm just adding some clear wink of Stella to the mushroom so that it intensifies but it also carries a little bit of sparkle to it. For the project that matches, I'm using the craft pillow boxes that are also new in the 2018 Stampin' Up! catalog. And by the way, all of the product links for purchase are listed in the video description below this video. If you can't find those, then go over to my blog at Jenny Stamps Up and you can find everything there. I have another pre-cut piece of paper, but this one is in an oval. I had it already pre-cut in my craft supply. And I'm using some coordinating ink, which is crumb cake. So my card and the gift package are going to carry the same color scheme. And the polka dots carry through to the card by using the ribbon. So it all just works out together. I'm also using Mary Merlot to use as the little flower buds and I'm keeping it where it matches by using a second generation of ink. So put together, these two projects really work out together. They were extremely fast to work together to put a matching set. And I'll have something on hand that if I need to send a gift card to a teacher or to a friend, then I have a card and a matching gift pack. I can put some chocolates, doesn't just, you know, cash, cash would work out good too. If it's a young adult, they always like to have cash. So this is going to just layer up very, very simply onto the little small pillow box with some Stampin' Dimensionals and it's just that easy. So the oval kind of matches the shape of the pillow box. And once you fill the pillow box, then these ends just fold down. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, as my kids would say. It's ready to fill up with anything that doesn't melt. Because my kids would also say, melting is not cool, mom. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. For additional information, feel free to visit my blog at jennystampsup.com. There is a link down in the video description that will take you straight over there. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day!